Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to Exploring the World of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's special video adventure leads us back to the Dragonflight expansion, where we are in Dawn of the Infinite, the her uh, heroic dungeon. And um, I'm very excited because we're going to be getting out of bounds and seeing Galakron up close in action in person. Do they keep his whole model? I don't know. We're going to go find out. And uh, it's so awesome. We, I've been wanting to do this video for a very, very long time. Um, I got to tell you guys, though, I'm <laughs> I'm kind of sad in a way because uh, this dungeon took a super long time to figure out. Almost three plus months worth. And uh, we finally made a way out. And I'm going to be showing you how I get out of this dungeon today. Um, so it's, it's very exciting. Um, the out of bounds credit, I will tell you goes to me and true hero out of the discord community and ATN. Uh, we both did this together and found it. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to break out of this dungeon and, uh, I'm going to be getting a tutorial right now. So where I'm currently at is actually close to the last boss room, the Chrono Lord. There is a spot, um, where you can see right on the map, right around here, where you can get up here. Now, once you jump up here, now I'm just gonna give you guys a warning. Um, this glitch takes quite a minute to perform because you have a you gotta have a little bit of patience with it. There's a lot of jumping around and maneuvering, so just watch closely, and I'll give you a step-by-step -step tutorial. So when you jump up here, there's a spot right around here. Where you can actually put down your skinny pillow right here or you should be able to uh, i was doing it was letting me earlier there we go so we put it right here once we put this down we're gonna sit on it and then once we sit on it uh actually you know what we might be able to just get out right here without having to do the toy let's try that real quick uh you can sit on it here and then you should be able to just jump straight out. Okay, no, we need the toy. Okay, that's fine. So let's actually, um, we're gonna get back on the pillow. Then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna build the seesaw in here. Once we do that, we're gonna back out. We're gonna do our Vikel drinking horn. And then once we do that, oops, we can get back on the toy here. Ah, come on. There we go. And then we can jump straight through the wall, or we should be able to. Yep. And then we're going to get to this room here. Now, that is the first part of this glitch of very many parts to come. So once you get in here, do be careful because you gotta you don't have a lot of space to work with in here. So just try to avoid going back into the dungeon and through the wall. Come over here. There's going to be a little spot right here where you can actually place another pillow down. So I'm going to zoom out here a little bit. You want to place the pillow right underneath the wall here. There we go. And then we're going to get in this very next room. Now, the reason we do that is because um, we need to get in here to get on top of here. So step one, go through here. Step two, put a pillow underneath here. And then step three, we're going to get on top of this pillar. Now, do be careful. Don't walk too far forward as couldn't, coming over here will actually get you back into the dungeon. So do be careful doing that. Now, what we're going to be doing is making sure you go into Havoc. Once you go into Havoc, um, you're going to want to switch to Havoc because you need the Fell Rush. Uh, do be careful. You can see the wall. You're going to want to get up here as far as possible. And you're going to aim towards this little like crevice in the wall over here. So we're going to Fell Rush over there. And then we're just going to keep jumping up. Now, this is actually going to bring you into a locked room. So just remember, once you get in here, you're kind of stuck until we get up here. So now originally how you'd perform this glitch is this wall over here. They actually changed, which I've just been informed uh, just recently, that they changed the way that demon hunters actually use their, um, what do you call it? I can't think of the name. Let me switch talents here back to Vengeance. They're Infernal Strike, sorry. Uh, you can't actually jump like towards walls anymore with it, which is really sad. So I'm going to teach you guys a brand new glitch 
that has been taught to me graciously by true hero so full credit goes to him he's allowing me to show you this glitch um so this is a very special glitch that um i'm going to show you here today and you're going to need this in order to actually get up the cavern wall here so where we want to get to is we want to get up here um, we want to get into this little hole area and the way we're going to do that is to perform this glitch you're going to need the um, like the thrashing racer controller so it's a warband toy um, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to spam your forward key which is dub you know for me it's w it might be different for you spam your forward key and keep on clicking the thrashing oh we got it on the first try wow that's rare so what happens is when you keep moving forward and you keep click clicking on the thrash and racer controller, it's going to send your guy into like a or your person into a standstill mode. And that way, um, basically, you can see here, I can't actually move anymore. So the only way I can actually deactivate this is if I click the toy again. But we want to this is perfect. This is what we want to be in. So you move forward. Uh, it may take you a little bit. But you're going to want to spam clicking your Thrasher Racer controller. You're going to want to spam moving forward. And then you'll get in like this weird like stuck standing still animation. Where now I can't move. That's perfect. That's what we want. Um, now what we're going to want to do is we're going to use this to actually jump up the wall here. So when you get into like this idle animation, your person can't move. And the game can't actually make you fall or anything either. So this is perfect. So we're actually going to use this to scale the wall. So what this is going to do is it's going to keep us like basically floating in midair without moving. And we're just going to keep moving up the wall here. There we go. And this will allow you to like climb any terrain. You can use this to climb anything. I mean, it's really awesome. The only downfall is it does take some time to get your infernal strike and you have to wait for it. So that kind of sucks. Um, but it's a very good method to use to climb walls. And uh, we're going to get to the top here. Nice. Perfect. Now, how we get out of this animation, we're just going to click the toy again. And there we go. So that is the basically third part of the glitch. Now, when we get in here, we're going to want to go through this tunnel. You're going to want to put a pillow down in front of you. Don't put it too far. Or you can't reach it. And then uh, you're going to want to place one more pillow. Because we want to, uh, I was going to see if maybe we can just infernal strike in, but we can't. So we're going to place one more pillow down. Oh, and we're going to need one more. <laughs> that sometimes happens. We're still stuck, unfortunately. So a good thing our triangular pillow is about to come off cooldown in like 30 seconds here. But that's what I was trying to tell you guys. This glitch, uh, it, it takes quite a minute to perform. And you can see all the work that we had actually put into this because it's just crazy. I originally didn't actually want to share this <laughs> because of how much work we put into it. But, um, you know, I can't do that to you guys. I've shared every other glitch on this channel and I feel like that's not fair if I don't share. So. All right. And what what is the fun of just keeping the glitch to myself? Okay, so once we get in here, this is perfect. This is where we want to be. We're going to drop down into this cavern area. This is going to open up a whole nother spot. Um, so what we're going to want to do is go back to Havoc. And there's a certain spot in here where you're going to want to like backflip into a place. So I think it's right here. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to want to line yourself up right around here. And you see like this whole area, you're going to want to jump into there. So what we're going to do is we're going to vengeful retreat into this whole area. So we're going to line ourselves up against the rock. There we go. We're in here. And once you get in here, do be careful because you can drop back down into the dungeon. So make sure not to move too much. And then you're just going to jump up here. And then you're going to jump up here. There you go. That is like the hardest part about the glitch. Once you do that and once you make your way up here, uh, there's a little spot or like a little lip right here. You can jump on top and then you can just jump around to the other side. And there you go. You are outside of Dawn of the Infinite. So give yourself a hand. Congratulations. <laughs> you did it. Um, now, do be careful. There's a lot of spots in here where you can actually go back into the dungeon. So just be careful where you're walking. Um, I'll show you here where to go and like a good place to walk around. 
So feel free to like move around here. Um, right now we are currently under Galakron's like arm or wing or whatever you want to call it, his claw. And this thing is massive. You can just see like the actual size of this thing is ridiculous. And it just puts into perspective how big of a dragon this dude was. Uh, this dude was crazy. Um, so we can jump over the rocks here. There we go. And what's also cool about this is you can actually mount up. So we're going to mount up. Now, one of the awesome things about coming out of this um, dungeon is uh, you get an awesome view of Galakron up close. So we're going to go around to the other side, and I love the uh, snow effect. One of my favorite things to do in this dungeon specifically is actually drink a uh, inky black potion. And that way it kind of lights up the, uh, it makes it like this glowing dungeon. Um, and you can see like Galakron up close, but we're going to go get around the other side. Now, one of the things that I was super curious about when we originally broke out of this was, do they keep his full model? You know, obviously Galakron is massive, so... Most likely they don't, but let's go find out. But I love the aesthetics of this dungeon. I love getting outside of it. I love the snow and uh, cause technically we're supposed to be in Northern, right? Um, but look at this. So we are actually on the backside. So they don't actually keep his full model. Um, I'm actually gonna drink a stinky bright potion so you can see better. There we go. So we are actually behind his head here. And what we're going to go do is we're actually going to go get inside of Galakron. And uh, we're going to do the same thing that we normally do with the toys. But it's so cool that we get to get back here and see him up close. Okay, so the way you get inside of him is you can actually get underneath here. So we're just going to use our metamorphosis. We're going to build a uh, seesaw or sandbox storm griffin, doesn't matter. We're going to build a seesaw, we're going to back out, we're going to do the Vivikel drinking horn. And then we're just going to jump on top of this thing. And there you go. You are currently inside of Galakron. And then uh, you can actually move forward. And what's really awesome here is they actually... His model's huge. I mean, look at this thing. We're actually inside of his head here. And if you look down, they actually keep a modeled version of his tongue. His all modeled and like his teeth and the mouth and all that. So this is like a really awesome view that we get. So pretty awesome. Um, so happy to break out of this dungeon. It's it's such a cool dungeon. It's definitely one of my favorites. And uh, very awesome to see. So let's actually go on the other side of the map here. And we're going to jump on our Winter Spring Tiger. Because this is also one of my all-time favorite mounts. And it just fits this dungeon so well because of the snow. But there is a lot more to this dungeon that meets the eye. I mean, this place is massive. Now, unfortunately, going out this way or going out that way, there's really not too much more to see on that side. It's just like a dead end. So uh, we're actually going to head back this way. And you can actually climb the rock and stuff here. Oops. There we go. And I'm going to give you guys a great view of the whole dungeon here on top of here. Check this out. And this is actually a good way to skip to the last boss as well, if you want to use that. If you don't want to do the whole dungeon. So you can see a whole modeled head of Galakron here. And you can see that it's just his head. They don't actually keep his body, unfortunately. So. I was kind of, uh, I was a little sad knowing that they didn't actually fully model him, but you know, how big of a size and how massive he is, it, it does make sense. <laughs> it would have definitely been uh, pretty crazy to do that, but it would have been cool to see that, but unfortunately they don't keep his whole model. So, uh, one of my favorite things too, to do up here is, uh, let's get back on a mount and you can actually get on Galakran's like hand or his claw up here. Um, and one, one thing you can do is you can get like an awesome shot for screenshots or whatever. So the way this dungeon is set up is um, when you go through like the, um, the, the time of sand or whatever it's called in the beginning where you go through the different portals and all that. 
the whole map is technically right at the beginning of the dungeon um when you first enter you enter into the you know infinite conflux that is right over here so it's just right over the mountains so the galakron like staging area is actually like connected with the beginning of the uh map here it's just right over the mountains here and we're actually going to go take a look at that here in a little bit but first let's get on top of this wing there we go look how massive and giant this thing is they definitely did not hold back with you know modeling him as much as possible All right, let's get over here. And we can get an awesome shot of him right up close. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? So that's where we were. We were actually inside over there in his head. But if you take off the sneaky bright potion, you can see a normal version of him. And then if you put on a inky black potion you get like this really awesome like glowing effect of him and this is probably my favorite view i love like the particles in the snow and i don't know this dungeon is just a lot of fun all right guys one thing i do love about this uh dungeon is like the mountain views and you can see here in the distance you get a bunch of mountain views here but wait what is what is that in the distance? There's somebody climbing down the mountain. Who is that? Let's take a look with our spyglass. Oh, it's true hero. <laughs> What's up, buddy? What are you doing here? What are you doing in the dungeon? Oh, you know, they're, they're just scaling mountains and the, the, the <laughs> usual. Shoot, man. Well, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Um, What's up, dude? Well, this is great. Uh, you know, me and me and Hero were the one to actually break out of this dungeon together. So it's great to have you here. Yep, yep. Glad to be here. Let's see if we can zoom in on you here. You making your way down? Man, are you floating? Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, man. Well, hopefully you can get down here so we can uh, climb the mountain together. Okay, hold on. All right, we made it to Hero. Hey, buddy. Hello. And um, we're actually going to join here on this adventure. So we're going to jump on with him. And he's going to scale us up the mountain here. So let's go take a look and see what is actually behind the mountain. That is what everybody's been waiting for. Now, you may notice that we are flying up above to the mountains. Um, yeah, very special. <laughs> It's a dragon. They fly. It's a dragon. They fly. That's right. <laughs> well, nothing special to see here. <sighs> All right, guys, we're going to make our way up this mountain real quick and we'll be right back. OK. All right, guys, as we're making our way up the mountain, um, this is kind of a bittersweet video because uh, this is probably going to be the last recording I'm going to do with True Hero because he is actually over in the the europe server so uh he's currently playing on an na account to do this video so i really thank him for that mm -hmm. um what what's your uh what's your favorite thing about this dungeon that we're doing here so um back in dragonflight this dungeon um actually released like another version of uh gorehal which is a pretty collector's item mm. i'd say Gorhal, light of the war chief um so the, it's fun to get that here and the fact that like we get like a little bit of time and galakrond like the blood of galakrond I, I just wish we could one day like fight a full skill of galakrond like at full power and whatnot and like we have here and more key and all that kind of stuff like doing mythic uh dungeons on this was pretty fun um in my opinion in mythic plus as well like the, they were usually pretty quick and pretty fun not not too hard but it, it was a good dungeon yeah i as much as i love the war within expansion i do miss dragonflight a lot it was a great expansion and it had a lot of cool moments 
Um, as we're scaling this mountain... Um, if you look to your left, actually, I don't know if you see that tower there as well. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Let's see if we can go there. Let's go check it out. They're just gonna fly on midair here. <laughs> it's a dragon. It's a I dragon. Don't know how many times. <laughs> That's right, it's a they dragon. Fly. <laughs> I am coming along for the journey as a little whelp. You're a dragon as well now. You also fly. That's right. <laughs> Now, I know you had mentioned that this map is actually pretty big when you get outside of it. It is. Yeah. Now, I yeah, haven't explored it too much yet. Like, these towers I have not seen yet, actually. Oh, so this is going to be new. It is, yeah. Thanks for taking me up here with you. Of course, man. I know you were kind of just, you know, flying around the dungeon, hanging out. Didn't even know you were here. Yeah, well, a pleasant surprise as always. <laughs> That's right. It is the world of Azeroth, after all. You never know who you're going to run into. Yeah, that, that, that is what World of Warcraft uh, what made World of Warcraft stand out a lot um, <laughs> in compared to other MMOs. Holy crap. Wow, they do keep a lot back here. What the heck? God, I turned on my stinky bright potion because we get a lot of view here. Now, do keep in mind, guys, if you ever find a way to make it out here, or you use the little controller, the racing cart, um, to climb your way up and stuff, do keep in mind that these kind of areas are not meant for players to get, so the chance of you having to unstuck or something like that is seriously there. Yeah. Um, it's really easy to get stuck, and... It's usually pretty hard to get out or impossible and then you gotta use the unstuck feature so do keep that in mind that um, you're not meant to be here and Blizzard did not intend um, you <laughs> yeah they, they do not care if you get stuck here or not yeah you're on your own <laughs> but good thing you have Basically, character yeah. unstuck tickets and um, you can also I don't know find a way to kill yourself if you can yeah. Um, so it's not the end of the world. And eventually, if you actually log out and log out long enough, um, the game will just put you back wherever you were. Look at this. Wow. Um, I'm going to jump off you for a minute. Yep. This is awesome. Now, guys, check this out. We are in... Holy crap. I did not know this was all up here. Hero, thank you for the ride, man. Yeah, of course. Let's take a look around. Um, so this is actually, isn't this in, where are we currently um, on the um, Dragon Isles? So this would be at the Awakening Shores. Um, and then I would say um, close to where, this is where Ruby Life Bulls is close to. Yes, you're right, the Ruby Life Bowls. Wow. Um, let's go take a look over here. I'm gonna go up the mountain here. Give you guys a great view as much as I can. Of everything that we're seeing. Man, I really, really thank God for the stinky bright potions, man. I'm so glad you introduced yeah, me to those. <laughs> they are great. Oh, look at this door. It still has like the orb animation going on it too. This is cool. Well, this has been an awesome OOB so far. And for those of you that are also maybe new to Out of Bounds Exploring, um, have fun with it. Have a good time, you know. Um, but I will warn you, it you do get stuck at times, like Hero was saying, so just be careful. Um, as much as you might be a good OOB expert, <laughs> you're never too far from, like, getting stuck or DCing. Or you just gotta explore and test things out, basically. 
Yeah, basically. It's fun. It's a challenge at times as well. It's a lot of trial and error, too. Um, it's like the game Dark Souls. You're, you're gonna die, eventually. <laughs> no matter how good you are at the game. Uh, alright. Let's go take a look over here. Now, what's awesome about this is this... Actually, uh, this is also would be going into the Azure span, right? If I'm not mistaken? Or is that... Are we far away from no, the Azure this span? Is the, the, this is way far from the Azure span. Um, this is actually close to Teldrassus. Ah, okay. So maybe we can get a look at Feldraken. Ah, okay. Where are you? Maybe I can come jump back on you here. Yep. There you go. Nice. Thank you. All right. As you guys can see, there's a lot of stuff out of bounds here. A lot more than I thought there would be. I mean... It, it, it surprises me how often Blizzard does this kind of things. Because they, they keep a lot out here. Uh, like in dungeons and whatnot for no apparent reason. Like they, they just keep stuff because they want to keep stuff. Like look at this dude. This is crazy. Like they keep all this out here for, if you ask me, no reason. Wow. I wonder if we'll find anything cool out here, like test models or anything. Well... They do tend to do that. Uh, I gotta give you that. They, they really do tend to do that a lot. And... If we're lucky, we might even find things like delete me cubes or other stuff like that. But l let's see what else is out here. This map's huge. It is huge. Now we're in the Azure span, right? Weirdly enough, I would say yes. Which... What we just saw shouldn't be... Anywhere near the Azure span. But here um, we are. Yeah, that's weird. Well, actually, where we just came from, wouldn't that be um, on the map here? Wouldn't that be well, back, if back if off? Flash no, we were oh. at Flash Frost um, Assault. Oh, yeah. Huh. Wonder why they got that set up here that way. Oh, this is so cool. So, we do got to be careful, though, because we don't know where Death Walls are. And if we go back <laughs> we do not. too close into the infinite, it might uh, kill us here. Yeah, up in a conflux, or make us but... talk. Now here goes part of uh, Valdraken, right? Uh, maybe. Yeah, that looks like it in the distance there going in. Man, they Guess keep... we're seeing Valdraken. This is awesome. What the fuck? All right, guys, we're going to go see an empty Valdraken. Let's see if our chat channel changes to Valdraken. I bet you it would. Who knows? We're going to find out. Oh, yep, all the way it, on the it, right. It, Look at... Holy crap. It, it looks... that There's no water. I took away the water. This is insane how much they keep out here. Yeah, they, they could have used everything like differently. Like, you know, that they, they just keep stuff like this out here. If you look to your right, you can actually see a lightning cloud up in the mountains. Oh, yeah. I was noticing that earlier. That's awesome. So, to our left, um, we can actually see where the world ends again. Yeah, edge of the map there. And here we are making our way into Valdraken now. Nice! This is awesome. <laughs> can we get to the seat of the aspect at the top? Yeah, we can. I'm a little afraid to drop off the mount. Just because I don't know where the DC is out here. Um, Neither do I. But I guess we'll find out. 
that's the fun part about uh, exploring we do in my opinion like <laughs> stuff out you know learning all that kind of stuff yeah no, no, it's a it's more of a journey than anything else um which is what attracted me to ob it was challenging hmm. yeah to me it was a little rewarding as well because um i've met great people because of it um we also like um you know we had to start a whole community have, like challenges <laughs> yeah we have like these little challenges that we do like claiming bounties and whatnot like you and i had a race at some point with each other like seeing who could uh, get the most OBs and stuff like that. Yeah. And then like you and I started racing each other like that. Like we we went crazy with it. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. And it it's... has been, yeah. Wow, they keep all of the. Uh... Oh my gosh, all of uh, tier holds over there as well. Wow. Did they keep a lot? Yeah, it actually uh, they gotta keep terror hold because that's what you see from the other bosses in the dungeon. Yeah, yeah, they gotta give that illusion off. Definitely a lot of smoke and mirrors effect going on out here. Well, it's physical, so yeah, not smoke and mirrors. I mean, you can't stand it. It's just here. Yeah, I'm curious if we're gonna find anything cool out here, like some delete me cubes or something. We'll figure it out. Not seeing anything yet. But we can get to the top here. Up to see to the aspect and then fly down to the bottom. Oh. That's okay, I can make it. Nice, look at that. We got to the top. This is amazing. Look at this, guys. We are in Seat of the Aspect, Out of Bounds, in Valdrak. And thank you for the ride, Hero. Yeah, of course. This is awesome. Look at all the dragons in the distance. That's so cool. I don't think that's in the normal map, right? I think this is just because we're in Valdrak and it spawns all, like, the dragons in the distance, right? Yeah. Yeah, this the, is the, cool. that's just part of the Falzarakon map. This is amazing. Alright, we're gonna drop down here. Don't worry, we're a demon hunter. If we died falling, then I definitely deserve it. Alright, let's go ahead to the courtyard down at the bottom here. Wow. This is amazing. Hope you guys are liking this video. Uh, I know it's a long one, but there's just so much to see out here. Hey, the bank's here. <laughs> Everything's here. That's cool. Nice. Is the invisible wall to the bank there? That's uh, what I wonder. Let's find out. Let me see if I can go jump into the gold here. We can actually use the guild vault. <laughs> Seriously? That's hilarious. That yeah, it works. It's that funny. It's very unusual for OB. Wow. Let's see if I can get over the counter here. Yeah, the wall is still there. But okay. we know another way to get in there if we wanted to. We do, yeah. Awesome. Then we do an OB in an OOB. One thing I love about OB is kind of the eeriness of them sometimes because, man, seeing some of this stuff and there's it's just empty and it just gives off like a whole new vibe. It's definitely different. And like I said, sometimes you find stuff that you normally wouldn't see. Like we've seen some like uh, developer stuff in, for example, Skyreach. Yeah. Like where did they, they where they were developing stuff still? Like that that's really cool to me. Like that you can see the process of it all. I'm still waiting for one day when we find actually active portals in an OOB, but I don't think that's ever gonna happen. 
If it is, it would just teleport us out of the OB. It wouldn't be anything too big. Yeah, because I'm seeing here inside there's storm when Ogamar portals are not here. Yeah, usually they're entities, so uh, they're like NPCs. Ah. Uh, but so is the bank, so that that's weird. Man, Dragonflight was a great expansion. Yeah, great expansion. Wasn't bad, no. Definitely not if you see where we came from, like, dude, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you're hate for Shadowlands. <laughs> yes, we should, honestly. If you guys haven't guessed yet, it's Hero's favorite expansion. He loves Shadowlands. Yeah, dude, for sure. <laughs> yeah. 100%. <laughs> Whatever you say, dude. <laughs> well, I'm just slowly making my way down. Just give me a... Uh... Give me a minute. Ah, oh, you're good. Take your time. You're enjoying it down there? Seeing some interesting stuff? Yeah, nothing too interesting. It's just kind of neat to see the empty city and the Valdrakid music going. It's pretty amazing that... It's all left out here. Oh yeah, I can see you walking down there. <laughs> now, now guys, I don't know how much left's going to be to show because you normally can see all this in retail. So I know we won't be here too much, um, but we definitely did want to show you what was back here. And as you can see, they keep a lot of the map. I mean, we could see if there's more still. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because we haven't flown around the other side yet. Or we could leave it for the others to explore that themselves. We could do that as well. We'll make our way over here. Now one thing, uh, for those of you that are maybe new to the OB exploring, I know I say this a lot, but do avoid water as much as possible. Water oh. is very dangerous in OB. Sometimes you can swim, but it's very rare. So, just be weary. And what happens is you'll DC. Uh, because your character goes into like an idle animation. If you're not supposed to swim, then your character doesn't know what to do. Yep. Also be wary of edge of the world walls. <laughs> you can get stuck in those and that sucks. Yeah, it's not fun. But a lot of times if you're close to the ground, you can just get out with like a infernal strike or metamorphosis. So, yep. but if you get too far up, you're screwed. <laughs> uh, we actually recommend um, the inflatable mount shoes for water. Yes. And then you can walk on it, and then you don't have the issue anymore of, you know, yeah. touching the water. Those are a lifesaver. I think they help us a lot, yeah. I don't know what I would have done without those. I, a lot of my OBs I probably couldn't do without the inflatable mount shoes, just because there's so much water involved. I mean, Sam goes for like the pillows and the drinking horn and whatnot, right? Yeah. We use a lot of tools to our advantage. Oh, yeah. And trust me, Hero could teach you a lot more than I could. <laughs> He's got a lot I more mean, tricks up his sleeve. Together. Yeah. What was your first ever OOB you remember doing? Stormwind. Huh? Uh, it was Stormwind, um, like classic Stormwind. What really impressed me yeah. is when you got into that deep run tram behind the portal. Oh, yeah. I was like, there's no way. That was cool. That's still one of my favorite I OOBs. I did tell you I would do it, and it didn't even take me that long, I believe. That was a cool liminal space. It's just finding the pathing to do that was insane. 
Well, yeah, that, going that through all the buildings and. Where did you go, actually? Oh, I dropped down into. Um, over by tear hold. But oh, I'm at the tear hold reservoir. Again. Yeah, I was trying to see how far I could go until, but I was hoping not to hit a death wall. But so far, okay. Uh, where are you at? Oh, there you are. Can you I see, see you walking your cat. Huh. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm slowly making my way towards you. Oh, I see you now. <laughs> Hello. Let me see if I can drop down to you. Using this. Oh, it worked. I can't. Nice. Welcome. Thank you. So, um, maybe we can start heading towards this way now. Would the Okotar Academy be? Um, yeah, it'd be up here, right? Yeah. Do you we'd think probably would be... have to scale the mountain. I don't know. It seems like on that side, though, there's. I don't think there's too much, but I mean, we could definitely find it. I think the end of the world's right over here again. Let's go see. Oh, actually, wow, this does go pretty far back here. Also, uh, be weary of caves. Sometimes they don't always load in. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, do go into caves at your own risk. That's what I'll say. And also uh, underground basements and stuff like of homes. Uh, those also don't load in a lot of times either. Yeah, and they sometimes even Get you end stuck. up making you crash. Yeah. Stuck, yeah. DC. There's a lot up here. Yeah, it's a ton. I guess we can see how close we can get to the uh, beginning. Oh, dying. Well, they don't keep the academy. Just a little part of it back here. Very little, like one tower. I'm still down here exploring it a little bit, but let me go. Oh, I see you. I'm right behind you. I mean, there's still stuff up there. Hold on, let me let you ride along. Good. Uh, there you go. Still check this out up here. Oh yeah, they got the whole hold up here. It is gonna be a long video, but it's a lot to explore. Yeah, I can edit it down too. Alright guys, we have made it up into the hold here. And as you can see, basically the whole place is here. Um, you know what, I'd be curious. I wonder if they keep the entrance to the uh, dungeon down there. I'd say fly to it if I were you. All right, I'm going to drop off here. Let's go for it. I'm afraid. Hopefully they keep the lower half here, because if not, I'm going to be DCing, but I'll do it for you guys. How far is it on the second floor? Do you remember? It's, uh, yeah, I believe it's the second floor. And... Dungeons, dragon plate. This one was, yeah. That's place massive. 
Halls of Infusion. That's what it was. Yeah, do, do let me know if it's there. I'm curious. Um, I think the entrance is right here. Yeah, it is here, but there's no portal or anything, obviously. But hmm. I, yeah, I think that's it right Still there. Still interesting. Yeah. How long does this go? How far does this go down? I think it's more towards the bottom, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it is. Oh yeah, there it is. The the uh, the meeting stone is here too. Summoning portal. Ooh. So we could summon people into the OB. Oh boy, I think my game is going crazy here. Ooh, Ooh I almost just died. Bit. That was close. The internet is being pretty shitty right now. I need a target. <laughs> yeah, the summoning stone is here. This That's is cool. cool. Yeah, well, I'm exploring what's down here still. Stuff down here as well. Alright guys, I'm gonna walk back up. I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back again. And uh, we're gonna be ending the video here in just a moment. But we wanted to show you something really special. That uh, hero I actually found some delete me cubes outside the map. And we're going to show you where exactly they are. There is another one, but that would take too much time to get to. So we're going to go show you the one about Draken. Yeah, the other one is like for other people to find now, right? Like Yeah, the, you're uh, on your own now. <laughs> After this fun. one. Try, try to find it. And uh, feel free to let us know if you found it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, though. It's been a lot of fun to explore outside the map. Um, this was, like I said, this was a challenging map. Um... But this is easy compared to the War Within dungeons and raids. So we'll see how that how those videos go. It's over there. They are over there. So if you want to drop down, feel free to. Uh, where at you said? Right there. Ah, cool. Okay, I'm gonna go. All right, guys, we're gonna go fly down there. I'm gonna drop down. I <laughs> love the parachute. Well, guys, this has been a lot of fun. Um, definitely want to thank Hero. Hopefully we can do some more videos in the future together. Probably not anytime soon, but... Um, Probably not. No. You know, I know you always have your NA account to fall back on just in case we need it, though. And I still have my EU account, and I don't stop doing OOBs here, right? Yeah. Can't be having that. So, I won't be completely gone, I'll still be active in the community. Oh, I see the delete me cubes. Awesome. Yeah, Alright, let's go take a good look really at these small. guys. How's oh, this is fun? That's kind of random, I wonder why they put them here. Huh. Whee. There you guys go, you got a couple of delete me cubes. We gotta take a picture too. There we go. You want to get a picture in front of the Leap Me Cubes together? Yeah, dude. Let's do it. Well, guys, this has been a really, really fun video. Um, any last words, Hero? Before we call it a quits? Oh, goodbye for now. I hope to see you guys in the community further. It's been a lot of fun recording with you, Nathan. Yeah, you too, buddy. Hopefully we can do so, more uh, stuff yeah. in the future. Definitely. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Yeah, and um, hopefully uh, if you guys have suggestions for the next videos, I'm always looking for stuff. Um, I'm currently working on a few projects right now um, on a few scenario instances and also getting behind certain portals. Going to continue that as well. Um, so just little videos and... Uh, Hopefully some more raids coming up in the future. Uh, like I had said earlier, the War Within content is going to take a little bit. Those are really tough. <laughs> some advanced... We're working on it. Yeah, those are going to take some more advanced OOB techniques to get out of so and to find paths. So um, a couple of the dungeons I have found pretty good ways to get out, but it's just the problem is when you get out, you die. So <laughs> um, it's definitely going to be interesting to work those and see how we can get around that stuff for how expert we are at OB it's still taking a long time to find yeah dude they're pretty solid 
Yeah. Blizzard's, Blizzard's not playing around for future expansions, which is really sad, but I understand. So, but they just I mean, gave us yeah. more of a challenge, so I'm down for it. Definitely. Go um, up my game now, man. If you guys haven't yet, come join the ATN Discord. We're growing a huge growing community in there of out of bounds. Uh, it's a lot of fun. People are always sharing photos and videos and laughing and it's a, it's a good time. Meet some good people in there. Um, especially, uh, I'll shout out Monk. He's been an awesome contributor in the OOB community. Definitely. And uh, he he actually has his own channel and I'll, I'll actually put a link in the description below. Go support him. He He's like a... Um, He's like an Exiles Reach specialist, <laughs> so if you want to know anything about Exiles Reach, he is your guy to go to because he like covered that place pretty crazy. So, um, but anyways, guys, well, thank you as always. My name is Nathan, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. See ya.